Good morning, YouTube pipe smokers. Anyway, smoking my new favorite pipe, the No Name China, and in it, some Vulcan Delight by Peterson. Now, the interesting thing about this, this is why I'm posting the video. I got some Vulcan. 2009 from Tom, Northwest Pipe Smoker, and I smoked that, and I said, wow, this is really good. So when I bought this Peterson, I don't know, a month or so ago, I tried it, and I really didn't like it. But back then, I wasn't smoking a pipe with a filter. The filter has changed everything. Now I went back to this Peterson Vulcan Delight, And guess what? I like it. So, this goes along with the Cobbett of the Shire, what he was saying about uh, maybe we all have too much tobacco we're collecting instead of using. And this is a perfect case. I wouldn't have gave this bulk and delight a second chance had it not been for the tobacco of bulk and uh, that Tom sent me from Northwest Pipe Smoker. So I guess the moral of the story is, don't give up on a tobacco until at least you try it in a few different pipes. And if you have an issue with a tobacco, try it in a filtered pipe and see if it makes a difference. It may open up a new world to you. As of now, I have to say, I prefer filtered pipes over non-filtered pipes. I don't know if it's just a phase I'm going through and I know the debate's been old and long about filter versus no filter uh, I do think a non-filtered pipe requires more pipe knowledge to get a good smoke out of it and that means slow down your puffing or the dryness or wetness of the tobacco I think plays a bigger role but a filter is less, uh, more forgiving, um, no matter what tobacco you use. And I think it can make a difference. So I urge everybody to give that a try. And by the way, uh, Pipe Nook did a segment yesterday that he found six millimeter charcoal filters. So, which I ordered some from Amazon, and that may be a way to go also. There's my phone. I'll cut this short. Thank you, guys.